at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because people have been asking me to look at the recent mini devs updates and uh, normally when I do these types of videos I want to wait until there's actually quite a bit of stuff so I can make just a very long video and then not have to worry about it for like another month or week but you guys were pretty adamant about this one so I guess I'll just read and look at what's here just to see what's happening. Be sure to like the video, subscribe and do all that jazz and let's just hop into it. So the first one that we have here is from Rehaku who says Hardy Rock 90. Our team's pretty damn busy with working on the rest of the game so for now the magazine is opaque but in the future we'll make it translucent. For transparency and nerds explanation to why it's not translucent right now. Translucent magazines with visible internals means they need to be rigged and animated. Yeah fair enough. Which is impossible right now due to how we handle physical magazines for our guns using static meshes which are static and cannot be animated. All of our team is busy doing things like rigging faces for visible facial animations and on NPCs, better animation blending during NPC movement involving acceleration and deceleration, and doing this on the same level of complexity as just giving the P90 magazines. So that comes later. Catch you later. So I think what we can take away from that is that they're actually putting facial animations for NPCs. Does that include the officers or just suspects and civilians? I mean, it includes everybody. I mean, at the moment, everybody's faces is just basically stone faced always looking forward you know it would be interesting to see what facial movements they would actually do during gunfights and seeing explosions or look visibly hurt when they get shot you know that would actually be kind of cool but anyways let's take a look at the p90 here this is my first time actually looking at any of these so let's go ahead and do it Okay, so a couple of things to point out here. When he checks his ammo right here, he puts the gun upwards to look at the bullets, and this is supposed to be translucent, because any P90 that I've seen always has see-through mags, so you can see how much ammo is actually there. But right now, this is just, you can't see anything, so they're working on that. But I imagine we're going to get this gun pretty soon here. Another thing that I thought was kind of weird was the way that he took out the mag. He kind of just tosses it. Right here, he just tosses it. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but anyways, this, this is pretty cool pretty cool p90s coming into the game that's awesome moving on to the next thing here this is the one that people were telling me to look at this is the first video of a number of videos that was posted by ali here this first video is called hostage taking hostage take start let's take a gander oh oh snap what does that say? Best action fire at target 0.373. Is that like the rate at which he'll actually hit us? Best combat move action dual 1000. What does that mean? Dueling combat move interrupted by taking hostage activity zero. This is some coding stuff I don't understand. But that's kind of cool. He kind of just walks up to the hostage. Um, I wonder what it's going to look like. Because this just looks like him kind of just standing there like, Oh, what's going on? The hostage situation? I had no idea. So that's pretty cool. It's guy shooting at you and then he sees a hostage and he walks up to him and just grabs onto him i think my only problem with this is that the freaking hostage looks like nothing is going on but i'm sure this will get fixed in a later patch in a real gun situation i feel like the hostage would be like on the ground trying to avoid the gunfire and the guy would come up and try to like yank him to get up and he uses him as a bullet shield basically the crowning jewel of this video right here is him coming up and then he shoots him in the head like oh snap you just killed the hostage Oh, this guy just fires up on him right here. That is wild to me. But moving on to the next thing here, we got Surrender Hostage. Drop your weapon. You got Drop it now. Huh. So a couple things to note here. It looks like we've got a bunch of hostage animations here where they're kind of just like hugging each other. Oh, no, wait, those aren't hugging. Those are just a bunch of hostages. It looks like on the left side here. And this dude's just kind of standing there. This guy's just dead. And I think this guy like flings over. He like falls over dead. So I think this is just like multiple animations of the same guy holding on to the hostage. It looks like and maybe these are hostages that are just like standing up that he can get or hostages that are sitting down that he comes up to and picks them up. I imagine they'd already 
actually plan for that type of thing, but that's interesting. Okay, so he like pushes him here. So I'm assuming this is all the bad stuff and this is all like the decent stuff where he like pushes away the hostage to give up. What? The bad guy letting go of the hostage, but he's shooting him. And this one is the bad guy letting go of the hostage, but the player character shooting the bad guy, I'm assuming. So that's interesting. That's quite a bit of animations he has there. Drop it now. And then he drops the weapon, which, I mean, it's not really much of a drop. It's more of like a fling the weapon. Like, oh, he just throws it, which I can see a bunch of issues of the weapon just getting lost. There should be like multiple animations where he drops it and flings it, my personal opinion. But uh, moving on to the next thing here, we got hostage kill. Kill a kill. Take a look at this bad boy. Damn. Did we already see this in the previous one though? Or is it different? I can't tell. Actually, the animation's a little bit different. I think he turns his head. Hold on. I gotta look again. Or no. It's actually the same. Yeah, it's the same animation. Okay. Get around them. So there's just like a bunch of stuff right here. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Best action fire target. Best continuous action fire at target. Best combat auction hardcover. Hardcover, I'm assuming he comes over here because he realizes that there's cover back there. So he's backing up and walking away after he shoots the hostage. Hardcover combat move. Location VO. Take cover activity okay so yeah after he kills the hostage he's trying to find cover okay moving on here up next we have hostage suspect killed let's take a look at this bad boy okay cool so obviously they're giving us the option here to just straight up kill the dude holding on to the hostage and honestly that's probably the best play if you don't want the hostage to die immediately Unless you want to throw a grenade in, I assume. I like how he leans out of cover here, too. He's just like, oh, I'm too sure. I'm not too sure. Moving on to the next one here. This one is called Surrender Hostage Stun. And it looks like we'll be able to see what it looks like when we throw a stun grenade or any type of grenade that stuns. Drop your weapon. Fuck you. Drop it now. I Drop the weapon okay. now. Best action, none. Continue action, none. Best action, none. Okay, so the hostage is stunned and also the gunman is stunned. And I'm assuming this is going to give us the action to shoot or, you know, tell him to get down. Okay, cool. All right, moving on to the next one here. We've got hostage human shield. Is this just us shooting at the hostage to get to the bad guy? Let's take a look. what huh so after he unloads his entire mag into us i guess he realizes that he can't unload his weapon so he basically has no bullets i guess that makes sense if he misses like every round then that means he's just out of ammo and he can't reload his weapon at that point at that point the guy has the gun trained on him so he just gives up that's like the most natural thing to do at that point because you're out of ammo and you can't threaten the hostage with no ammo so that's kind of cool just wait till he runs out Moving on to the next one, we've got suspect kill. Just simply kill the suspect when he has the hostage, huh? Obviously, you can do that, but if you do do that, then you lose points because the goal of the game is to get as many people alive as possible. Detain all the bad guys. Bring them in for questioning. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I can hear him. All right, simple enough. It's just basically us shooting them except from the front because the previous one was from the back. So they're giving you multiple options to shoot you from the front and the back. So that's cool. Up next, Ali says, if the hostage was killed externally, and the name of this video is called Hostage External Kill. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay. <laughs> the dude's just like flabbergasted that you shot the hostage, it looks like. Oh, what do I do now? <laughs> He's like, I cannot believe that you just did that. Were you supposed to save this guy? Best action, take another hostage. Okay, moving on to the next one. Ali says, suspects could also fake getting killed if the bullet grazes near their head. The name of this video is called Hostage Suspect Faking Getting Killed. Okay, let's take a look. Um... That didn't look fake to me. <laughs> looked like he nailed both the hostage and the bad guy. I think he was trying to shoot in the middle there, but the hostage got in the way. That's head on right there. 
Definitely head on, but I mean, the bad guy might have lived, maybe. I mean, it didn't even show him get back up. But moving on to the next one here, Ali says, Failure to stop a suspect will result in the hostage being killed, either taking too long or receiving damage that doesn't force them out of the hostage taking. And this one is called Hostage Failure to Stop. Let's take a look-see. Oh, he took that bullet like a champ. He's like, bah! Who threw that pebble at me? So what if we like shoot the gun in his hand? Would he still shoot the guy? Or what if we shot him in the shoulder and like his arm just became limp? He can't shoot his gun anymore. Would he drop it? Curious to know if they are gonna do anything like that. As I was recording this video, we actually got a couple of new mini dev updates from Ali. The first thing he says here is, some civilians will surrender differently. The name of this video is Surrender Phone. Let's go ahead and start it here. Please. That's how you get shot. <laughs> Did she take her picture for like TikTok or something? Just imagine like you see her reach for something and you think it's a weapon and then she pulls it out and it's a phone, but then maybe somebody else is not paying attention and he sees the flash and thinks it's a gun and he turns around and shoots her. I just imagine a lot of people killing the hostage because of that. Like if people were complaining about the traps, now they're going to complain about this here. All right, let's move on to the next thing here. The next video that's here is called Surrender Show Badge. Let's take a look-see. Get down and put your hands up. I'm not sure what he showed there. Hold on. I'm assuming that's like the insignia of the area, the county police, I, I guess. Then he just puts it back or it disappears, one of the two. I guess the reason why he would be showing it to the SWAT officers is probably to show that he actually works here and isn't a criminal. I guess that's the reason. I think that would make sense, but I still wouldn't <laughs> reach behind my back because I know they would shoot at me. So that's interesting. Again, it's another thing that's going to throw players off because they'll see guns come out. But interesting. That's the batch surrender and this one was the mobile phone one. But yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to mini dev updates. You guys were pretty adamant that I look at these, so I'm just like, oh, okay, if you want me to. Too. normally i wait like a week or so until everything comes out but it's like all right well i guess so what are your guys' thoughts does this appease you or are you still mad and you're like damn it just give me the playable update already it's been four months let me know what you think down below because i'm gonna end it here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like great or not then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.